I have six new polishes here to show you from Picture Polish. This includes the new collaboration shades. So I will link the Picture Polish website down below. They do ship to a handful of international destinations, but if they don't ship to you, I will also link the page down below where they have all of their stockists that you can order from in your country. The Picture Polish website has a three item minimum purchase and then they also have a 16 Australian dollar discount every day if you purchase eight or more polishes. So six polishes in this collection and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is Meow and this is a blogger collaboration. There are one, two, three, four blogger collaborations in this collection. I don't want to butcher anyone's blog name so I'm going to link everyone that did the blogger collaborations down below alongside their polishes. So this first one is described as a sage green jelly scattered hollow. So here is one coat. So this is just a little bit sheer on that first coat. Should build up fine in two. Fantastic formula on this. Super easy to control. So here is two coats. And two coats does cover completely in here. That scattered holographic are like little tiny itty bitty silver holographic flakies. So they lay nice and flat on the nail and they're not difficult to remove at all. They behave very differently than a glitter. So there is two coats of Meow. The next polish is called Summer and this is described as a coral scattered holographic with holographic hex glitters. So here's one coat. This one is also a little bit sheer on the first coat. Those glitters take just a little bit of manipulation to spread out on the nail, not bad. Great formula on this one as well. So here's two coats. And this one covers completely in two. Those hex glitters that are in there are going to stick up a little bit because they are considerably larger, so you will want a top coat to smooth those out. And they might stick to the nail, but there's not so many of them that I think it's going to be difficult to remove. So there is two coats of Summer. The next polish is called Orchid, and this is described as a bright purple jelly scattered holographic. So here is one coat. This one is a bit of a lighter color, so it's a bit more sheer on the first coat. Fantastic formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. So this one covers almost completely on that second coat. There are still a few lighter spots where like, I don't know how to describe it, like the pink of my nail bed is showing through a little bit. So I'm going to do a third. But I think depending on how you apply this or how thick your coats are, you might only end up needing two. So here's three coats. So three coats does cover on this one completely. And like Meow, this has those light silver holographic flakies in it, so it's going to lay really flat and really smooth, and it won't be difficult to remove. So there is three coats of Orchid. The next polish is called Remember, and this is described as a Marsala Jelly Scattered Holographic. So here is one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It's just a little bit lighter than what's in the bottle, and there are a few light spots on it. Formula is fantastic on this one as well. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. The jelly base in this one kind of lays over those silver flakies and gives them kind of a pink appearance, which is pretty cool. So there is two coats of Remember. The next polish is called Alice, and this is a bright blue jelly scattered holographic. So here's one coat. And this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat. Fantastic formula on this one as well. So far they've all been really good. So here's two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. I think depending on your application, and if you're really picky, you might end up needing three because you can still get a few light spots, but if it's cover it nice and even, it should be good. So there is two coats of Alice. The next polish is called Hollow Sphere, and this is a black scattered holographic with holographic hex glitters and then violet flex is how it's described. So here is one coat. This one is a little bit sheer still on the first coat, so it is going to need two. When I got this one, my bottle was stuck closed. I think it had leaked a little bit in transit. It hadn't leaked into the package, but it had leaked into the cap. And because of that, I think some air got in, because my formula is kind of thick and it's a little bit goopy. I did put some thinner in there and it's a ton better. But if you see me having a little bit of trouble with it, that's why I don't think that anyone else's is going to be like that, because I do think that it was just a mishap with my bottle. 
So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. Since this does have those larger holographic hex glitters in there, it is going to be a little bit uneven. So you will want a top coat to smooth it out. So there is two coats of Hollow Sphere. So of course my favorite is going to be Alice because I love blue. And this is a really awesome, almost like electric blue polish with that scattered holographic in there and it's just, it's perfect. So really, really like this one. So those are the new picture polish shades. I will link, again, I will link the website down below as well as a link to um, a list of all the other websites that carry picture polish if you can't get them shipped directly from the main website to where you live. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.